What are you up to, Adventure Kid Sam? I'm spending the morning making track in scat. And I want to show you examples of some animals. This is um, fox scat. This is deer pellets. And this is turkey scat. And this is um, a, a fresh deer track made out of Play-Doh. You know, it's quite entertaining to um, make these at home, but wouldn't it be more fun to go on a walk and find real tracks and scat? I think that sounds like a great idea. Bye. Hi, we're the Nature Nerds. My name is Carly, and this is Adventure Kid Sam. Hi, I'm Adventure Kid Sam. This show is all about nature and getting outside. And today's episode just so happens to be about tracks and scat. And if you don't know what scat is, well, we'll be explaining that a little bit later. Tracks and scat is really good evidence to find critters in the woods. So that means we're gonna have to go on another hike and do an adventure. Are you ready, Adventure Kid Sam? Yes. Let's do it. Animal tracks are uh, imprints left behind in the soil, snow, or mud by an animal walking across it. So as we're walking along looking for tracks, we have found a domestic dog. Now there are certain ways to identify this track. Number one, well, we saw the dog make the track. So these are our domestic dogs. Hey, Adventure Kid Sam. Hey, this is our baby puppy named Doc. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you their tracks right now. So here's a pretty good example of a domestic dog. Now, if you look at it, we're gonna talk about how it's a little bit different from a fox track. Um, it's a little bit more wide. You can always see the nails. Dogs do not have retractable nails like cats. So you're gonna see them and they're almost always connected to the toe pad. So that is a domestic dog. That big huge heel pad in the back as well. Hey nature nerds, look what I found. A white tailed deer track, oh, nice and crystal clear. Let's take a peek at that and zoom on in. Whoa, that is a good one. Adventure Kid Sam, can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, so um, the two little points are the two um, toes that are its hooves, and they kind of make an upside down heart shape. And the cool thing about these deer um, tracks are that they're kind of like an arrow pointing in the direction that the deer was going. Raccoon tracks? are pretty easy to identify. They're commonly found near water and they look like little human handprints. The front paw looks like four, well it's got five digits, it's got four fingers and a thumb, and the back paw is a little bit bigger and with a larger pad. So keep your eyes out near the water. Here is a fantastic example of some raccoon tracks that we just found. They're really fresh and as I just mentioned, they look like little human hands in the mud. It's pretty common to find fox scat laying around here because this is a pretty um, good place for a fox to be dropping some scat. So let's talk about fox scat. It, um, it's a couple inches long. It has two pointed ends and it can, based on what the fox eats, it can look a little different. Um, so we can have fur, bones, feathers, insects, and seeds. 
This one actually has fur in it, if you saw in the, um, when we got close to it. And if it's fresh, it will have a distinctive, musty smell. And this one I think is fresh because um, it has that stinky little smell. P.U. Hey, nature nerds, look what I found. Some deer fur, they must be shedding out, and some deer pellets. They're roundish and they're pellets and they're similar to rabbits. Depending on what they eat, um, it could be clumpy or stuck together. And white tailed deer scat, if it's shiny and moisture, it is fresh. It's pretty common to find white tailed deer scat around here because there's a lot of white tailed deer. Canada goose. Um, near a wetlands and a pond. Um, and I actually found Canada goose sky. It's fresh. It's green. Um, based on what they eat, it can be brown, green, or white. I know we're talking about tracks and scat, but um, we found other, other evidence of beaver been here too. Look behind me. What do you see? Some beaver markings. Those are beaver cuttings right there and right there. We all have a nature nerd inside us. All you have to do to begin is get outside and learn about nature. We had a great hike today along the creek with the dogs. And we chose this place on purpose because where you find water, you find mud. And where you find mud, you're going to find tracks and scat. So what's the big deal with tracks and scat? Why do people even care? They can actually tell you a lot about animals, about their behavior and their habits, what animals eat, and where they eat. They can even tell you how many animals are in an area. So it's also pretty fun to get outside and go for a hike and see if you can follow some trails and see what you can find. So that's what we're gonna challenge you to do. To get outside, be a nature nerd, and see what you can find. See you later. I'm the <laughs>